what I'm trying to do with Spotify is, is, uh, is finish what I started with Napster. The distribution model for music is, remains broken. I've you know, dedicated the rest of my career to trying to fix what I broke. So I think the business model, the distribution model around music needs to be figured out. And, and, and as with all of the content industries, which have all been uh, affected in various ways by the move to digital distribution, um, I think we're going to have to come up with a novel model. I don't think it's a one-size-fits-all model. I don't think the answer for publishing is the same answer for broadcast is the same answer for music. And that's actually what makes it quite challenging. But Sean, what's the answer for Spotify? What, what is the answer you came up with there? Well, I mean, the, the, the ultimate answer for Spotify and I don't know how much of this has ever been sort of explained directly publicly, so I'm gonna dance around it a little bit, but the, the ultimate answer, I believe, is that you have to accept that the war on piracy is a failure. So you have to be willing to believe that, you know, you look at the data, somewhere between four trillion and 10 trillion songs are illegally downloaded every year, and we're looking at maybe four billion or so legal downloads per year, so orders of magnitude more illegal downloading. So what's really happening is people are learning about music through their friends and then they're going to the piracy networks and they're downloading it or they're trading it on hard drives or they're trading it, you know, on, on private, you know, private networks. So if you are willing to admit that, then you have to ask yourself the next question is what are people willing to pay for? And I think the answer is convenience and accessibility. So that leads you to a model where you have unlimited streaming on your desktop but the content is locked within the client on the desktop. It can't be moved to an iPod, it can't be moved to an iPhone, it can't be moved to any other mobile device, but it's unlimited streaming within that closed environment on the desktop. And, but then you get addicted to it. You get the song stuck in your head, you see all your friends' playlists, you, you end up building a music library that's 100 times bigger than anything you've ever had. And at that point, you have no choice. We've got you by the balls. If you want that content on your iPod, you're gonna have to pay for it. If you want that content on your iPhone, you're gonna have to become a subscriber. And I think that's the hook. And it's something the music industry's been afraid to do. I think they're about to take that plunge. You know, I, I hope that by the end of the year, Spotify can launch in the US and, uh, and we'll be able to execute that model. And I think, uh, um, I think it's gonna be a very disruptive event.